doing stuff. I just, you know, I wasn't doing basketball or anything. It was just, I thought it had to happen like that. Can you just take us through what happened that day when it happened? Well, you know, it was a regular day lifting weights. Um, I was out there, we was doing the um, physical ball. And, uh, you know, we got to understand that, you know, it's supposed to be, um, the exercise was good. You know, we, we've been doing that and, uh, you know, it exploded on me. You know, I had the, I had uh, 90 dumbbells, I was bench pressing. You know, I was, um, I had, uh, was bench pressing. And, uh, you know, it just exploded. I didn't have time to, like, react or anything, you know, and uh, it was just, it's crazy, man. I just keep, keep reflecting on my head. It's, it's crazy. Do you know how bad it was when it happened after it came down? It came down? Oh, I know. As soon as I came down, I knew it was broke. As um, soon as like, I felt it right away, you know, um, I saw my bone kind of stick out, so I was like, Oof. I know it was, was kind of bad. Out the skin? No, I was at, oh, I wasn't okay. out the skin. Like, it was just out of place, so I saw it, you know. I know it was, I know it was bad when I fell on the floor. Yeah. Did they end up putting plates or screws in you as far as the surgery goes? Are you going to have to have a second procedure? Do you know? No, I don't think so. I think okay. the surgery went well. Yeah. And, um, I think now I'm going to recover time. I don't think okay. I'll have to go back and do another like, you know, procedure, like you said. I think yeah. everything went well. And, uh, okay. Now I'm in no recovery time. Okay. You know you've got a long road ahead of you. How do you attack this thing? I mean, do you have to go day by day? You know, in terms of keeping yourself sane and and getting healthy again, and, and not letting the situation overwhelm you. Well, you know, um, I just think um, me putting myself down, you know, because of what happened. Not being basketball related, you know, it's it's already tough not yeah. being out there with my teammates, you know. So I just gonna take it day by day, you know, trying yeah. to get better, you know. Um, I already talked to um to the coach, you know, I want to be here, you know, as much as I can, want to be on the road with them as much as I can, you know, I just want to be there with them, yeah. you know, as a teammate, you know, as a friend, yeah. you know, as a leader, you know, I think they, they really need me out there, and um, even if I'm not playing, they, I think they, it'd be good if I'd be out there with them. I'm sure you feel like you need to come out here and say that you're fine, and say that, that you're fighting through it, but I mean, how hard has this been, and who's helping you through it, is it, you talking to family, you talking to, well, you know, know, it's hard, yeah. you know, like I said before, you know, we thought, you know, that everything was going to be fine when I was doing that, and, uh, you know, something like that happened, you know, out of, just, out of nowhere, you know? yeah. So it was, it's just tough, you know, I wasn't basketball related, you yeah. know, and um, I just think, you know, it's just, it's tough when you're working yourself so hard the whole summer, you know, for, yeah. for you have a good season, and then that happens, but, you know, family, you know, friends, you know, my teammates too, you know, the yeah. whole organization just, you know, everybody called me, everybody talked to me, so, you know, um, I uh, just appreciate everything that I've done for me. What okay. have your teammates said to you about how much you mean to them? Well, you know, they, they how much they miss me and uh, you know, how bad they feel. You know, some of my team was out there a week and Kevin was in there with me. And, uh, you know, they, they saw how it happened and all that. You know, I was, I know they felt bad because I saw their face. Like, when I was walking through the training room, I was trying not to show it that it hurt so much, but I saw their faces and, uh, you know, they was feeling what would you like all Kings fans to know that have reached out and sent their well wishes to you? Well, you know, um, the Kings fans are keep supporting the team, and uh, you know, um, the Kings gonna have a great season. You know, um, everybody been working hard, and uh, uh, you know, Francisco is gonna make uh, a great recovery, and uh, he's gonna work real hard for um, for out there. Francisco Mario Eli was talking to us the other day about how he went through a similar thing. Have you talked to him much about what he yeah, went he through? Told me. Yeah, he yeah. told me about it after that. He went to championships, so yeah. I think that rolled off on me. There you, you know, go. It happened yeah. to me. I went a couple of championships here in Sacramento. So, there you go. You know, I think that's, that's the positive thing I take. Anybody else that, that's been through that that you've been in touch with? No, nah, no. Nah, really, yeah. Not really. I'll talk to him a little bit about it. And I'll, yeah. You know, we talk, sit down, and that was it. Okay. I know it's way, sorry, sorry, sorry. way, way down the road, but what are the doctors telling you about, you know, are you going to be able to get back to 100% health and, and shoot that ball like like you have been your whole life. Well, you know, um, I'm a shooter. Yeah. You know, I'm, a, I'm a shooter, and uh, I was thinking that's that's all a mental thing. Yeah. I think that's all in your mind, and uh, you know, now I'm gonna I'm be uh, shooting with, with my right, with my left. Okay. I'm more, more with my left. Ambidextrous, uh, huh? Yeah. So, okay. You know, I'm, I'm gonna come back and shoot it like Francisco used to shoot it. You know, just yeah. it's a mental thing. I think I'm, I've been there before, and uh, I think I've, I've been out before. Some injuries and I came back strong, so yeah. that's what I have to do now.
so many uh, <laughs> people talk about you being a blue guy, a glue guy, and uh, being kind of a voice on this team. Who do you see stepping in that role with you not on the floor? Well, if you see right now, uh, Kevin has taken a different, a different role this year. You know, uh, he's being more like a leader. You know, uh, he's getting bigger, uh, being more uh, vocal on the floor. You know, uh, just the things he do. You know, playing with better defense. You know, in practice. You know, talking to the guys. So I think um, Kevin had, you know, step up and uh, and just without saying it, just um, showing everybody that you know he's ready to uh, step on up. Cisco, you've been through some things growing up in Brooklyn, and you know, on the on the court, off the court, you've had some challenges. How does this compare? Is there anything you can draw on, you know, even life-wise, that that uh, that can help you get through? Well, you know, every experience is different. You know, it's a different experience, but you know, you just gotta, you know, uh, it's a learning experience. You know, uh, like I said, you know, I've been out before with the injuries. You know, not a magnitude like this, but you know, it's all about my thing. You, know, yeah. you just gotta stay positive, and you know, just just keep keep fighting. Have you ever wondered, like, you know, you had a kind of a freaky injury when you went up for that ball that got wedged between the backboard and the rim that one time?